Let's ask the user to enter lengths of sides of the triangle. Based on the input, let's evaluate if the formed triangle is valid or not. So the logic is if the sum of two sides is greater than the largest of the three sides, then it's a valid triangle. If not, it's not a valid triangle. So let's give an example. If we have a triangle with largest side as 10 cm and the other two sides are 4 cm and 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7 which is not greater than 10. So it's invalid triangle. So here if A is bigger side then B plus C must be greater than A to be a valid triangle. So based on that logic let's write a C program. I'll take three variables A, B, C representing sides of the triangle. I'll assign a variable flag to 0. I'll ask the user to input lengths of sides of the triangle. So now if A is greater than B then the others, uh, other two variables are B and C. So B plus C must be greater than A. If that's true, then I'll store that true value inside flag. That is true means 1. So if B is greater than C, so if B is great, then other two sides are A plus C must be greater than B. So I'll store that inside the flag variable. Else C must be great. So if C is great, then a plus B must be greater than C and I'll assign that to variable flag. So if flag means if flag is 1 which is which means if flag is true then it's a valid triangle if not it's invalid triangle. So let's check that out. So in this case we are checking which side is big so whichever side is big we will take the other two sides and add it and see if addition is greater than the biggest side so i have one two three so three is big so other two are one plus two is three which is not greater than three so it's invalid so let me check for ten two and two so ten is big the other two numbers are two and three 3 plus 2 is 5 which is not greater than 10 so it is invalid triangle. So let me give a valid triangle values. I will give 10, let me give 15 and 6. 6 plus 10 is 16 which is greater than 15 so it is a valid triangle. So please follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code discussion and notes about this topic. Also share this video with your friends online. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.